Hey guys, it's me, Kay, and I am coming to you from the airport. We're about to board our flight to the Dominican Republic. Just wanted to check in with you guys really quick. Sorry if you can't hear me. I have to keep my mask on, obviously. Um, so it's going to be about a four-hour flight, and we'll be landing in Santo Domingo around 10 a.m. Eastern time. No time change for us, luckily. I did forget one of my SD cards at home since I was uploading the Wednesday video for you guys and hopefully I can find another one since this one might run out soon but I just wanted to hop on real quick and talk to you guys and I will see you in the next clip. Bye! Libby, look at that water. Can you see it? Hey guys, we made it to the room. As you can see, this is the king suite. I have my own little bathroom in here. And a nice photo of a naked lady. <laughs> but the best part, I will show you. This is the view from the king suite. I apologize if the wind is noisy on camera, but um, can we just talk about this for a second? Hi, I'm Kay and I live in the Dominican Republic now. If you guys are looking for me, this is where I'm gonna be. So that is the Airbnb we're staying at. We're in this room right there. And here is the beach. Libby's in the water with her dad. I'm just chilling here on this beach, pretty much by myself. Hey guys, crazy lion's mane as you can see, but I am just on the beach while Liv swims with her dad looking for some sea glass. Okay guys, Livy says she can be a whale. She's gonna even make whale sounds. Let's go. What would you rate this out of 10? <laughs> I give it an 11 out of 10. Good morning from day two here in the Dominican Republic. I'm out on the balcony. Uh, yesterday we didn't get here to the Airbnb until around noon time. Um, then we went and waited for the cleaning ladies to finish cleaning the room so we could enter and settle in. Um, took showers, all of that good stuff, and then we went down to the beach for a little while because Libby really wanted to get in that water. She had an amazing time. You probably already saw some of the clips from her just swimming around in the ocean. She also took a dip in the pool. Um, today's agenda, we have to go into the city of Santo Domingo to get our COVID test done to get back into the U.S. on Thursday when we return. So we have to do either the PCR or the antigen test, not the um, 
rapid test and there are a few places here in the DR that offer them. Actually, a lot of the hotels, if you're staying in an actual hotel, offer them for free. But since we are staying in an Airbnb, we have to incur the cost on our own, but it's only like $35 American, so not bad at all. Then after that, we might take a trip down to um, the National Park, Trace Ojos National Park, so Three Eyes National Park. They have three cenotes there. I'm not sure if you can swim in them. I think one of them you can swim in, um, hence the name Trace Ojos, Three Eyes, Three Cenotes, kind of look like eyes. So we'll check that out. I'll try to get some footage there. And then other than that, I think we'll probably just explore town, maybe try to pick up some souvenirs. I collect uh, magnets and Christmas ornaments when I travel so that I can display them in my home. So we'll see what we can find. And then tomorrow I think we are snorkeling. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Bye. I also forgot to mention that we went to the grocery store yesterday. That's the, one of the first things I always do when I'm traveling internationally. Head to the grocery store, find some interesting snacks that we can't get in the US, and then also pick up some stuff that I can easily make here in the kitchen or just eat on the go. That way we can save money by not eating out for every meal. But I'm gonna show you a couple of things that we got. All right, so here we got some staples. We got some pancake mix. Liv said she wanted to make pancakes in the morning. These were 265 pesos. Not sure what the exchange rate is. If I can look it up, I will add it into this video. We also got some pasta sauce and pasta syrup from pancakes. We got some fresh pineapple, water of course. And Liv and I can't live without our ice cream, so she got this chocolate magnum bar, and I got a classic ice cream sandwich. Wave to the vlog, Livy. <laughs> we are entering the first cenote of Trace Ojos National Park. Livy, how many is Trace? Yay! There it is. We are taking the boat ride across one of the cenotes. We just came into the bedroom to lay down and we noticed last night that our air conditioning was leaking so we put a towel down but it got soaked and it's out on the balcony <laughs> and this entire length of the floor is soaked in water it's ridiculous like why why do you leak hey guys it is day three for us so 
so Wednesday and it's our last full day here. We were supposed to go snorkeling this morning. They were gonna pick us up at 8 a.m. but Libby was not feeling it this morning so unfortunately I had to cancel that but we will just hang out here on our private beach or we'll head down to the main public beach and maybe shop around a little bit see what's there so I'm super excited either way that I get to spend the day by the water. The other thing I wanted to touch on real quick was the COVID testing. We got that done yesterday. Um, the US website says no more than three calendar days before you depart. We were at two days, a little bit less than 48 hours. So when we went to the lab here in the Dominican, they gave us a little bit of pushback because we weren't flying tomorrow. We were flying two days from now, um, but we were still within that US timeline. Um, eventually they did concede and let us get tested. It was a little bit of a long process and kind of confusing since we don't really speak much Spanish, um, but eventually we figured it out. So what you have to do is go into the lab. We used Amadita Lab, A-M-A-D-I-T-A. -A. They're all over the island. We did actually go to two. The first one we went to, we didn't feel too great about. Um, there were a lot of people outside yelling gringo to us because we had our windows down in the car. So we passed on that one and went to another one closer to the city. This one was in a busy plaza with a grocery store and a KFC. Um, there were also a lot of locals outside of this one, but everybody was super nice. So what you do is go into the lab and they have this little kiosk and you enter some basic information like what you're here to be tested for and it spits out a number. To me, it kind of works similar to the deli counter at the grocery store, at least that's how it is in the States where you go grab a number and wait for your number to be called so you can place your order. Then as you wait around in the building or outside, depending, because there's a 20 person maximum, at least at the location that we went to, you wait for your number to be called and then you go up to the teller. It tells you the position of the teller that you go to and then you fill out all the paperwork. They take your passport, write all that information down. They have you confirm that the information is correct and then you sit and wait again for your number to be called a second time and that's when you go into um, the terminal to get the actual COVID test done. The actual testing process was pretty quick, not too bad. There was a little bit of a language barrier, but nothing crazy. They will ask you when you are leaving and where you are headed. Then they do the test, easy peasy, and then you're out of there. You will also have to tell them where you are staying just in case you end up being positive so that they can make sure others are contacted. And that's pretty much it. If you give them your email address, they will email you the results. They give you this little paper with a password at the bottom so that you can enter it to see the PDF of your results. You can also go to a kiosk in any of their lab locations put in that same passcode and it will print you a result so that you can hand that to the customs agents. And that's pretty much everything um, related to COVID testing. We got our results back in a couple hours and we're negative, so we're all good to fly home tomorrow. It was a two hour chunk out of our day, which does kind of suck since we're only here for a couple days. We only had two full days here, but it is what it is. It has to get done so that we can go home, but everything's all set for tomorrow. So I just figured I would share some of that information with you just in case you want to visit the DR anytime soon before COVID stops being a thing, which hopefully is soon or any other country during this pandemic that you want to visit that may have the same kind of regulations. While I'm still sitting here and Liv is sleeping, I figured I would show you guys this. They do make cocoa here from the cacao beans and we found some in a grocery store so I'm gonna give it a try. The packaging is pretty. Here's what the chocolate looks like in case you guys really needed to see this. Um, but it does say the brand on here, Cacao. If you can see that, I'm not sure if you can because it's bright over here, but it breaks really nicely. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, and I am not like a plain chocolate person. I usually like something in my chocolate, um, but this is good. It's a perfect balance between sweet and bitter, and I'm loving it. Um, I picked up some, I think this is pear juice um, from the grocery store near where we got COVID tested at and let's give that a try since it's morning.
Well, first off, it smells amazing because it smells just like a pear and also it's delicious too. Cheers. Hey guys, we're about to go swimming. Liv's just getting in the water now. If you can see her, um, I just wanted to check in with you guys real quick. We're just gonna go swimming for a while and then see where the day takes us. Just sitting by the pool. Got this fresh coconut that somebody so graciously cut down from one of the trees back there. Libby is over there judging me for vlogging in public even though no one else is here. <laughs> Cheers. Olivia. People want to know, how are you feeling at this very moment? Do you have words to share with the class? No. No? Yes! <laughs> That's what I like to hear. But I'm sorry you're feeling so meh right now. Hey guys, this might be the last time I check in with you during this vlog. Um, it's our last night here. Libby got pretty sunburned, so she's kind of miserable AF right now. And she's been crying and upset. And she tried to take a dip in the pool to see if that would help cool her down. And it just wasn't a good time. So i um, kind of just trying to nurse her back to health as best I can. Picked her up some aloe to hopefully make her feel better. And we're leaving in the morning. Our flight leaves at 10, so we're gonna try to get to the airport around 7 a.m. So now we're just kind of relaxing. I got my Fantasia sleep shirt on. It's been super windy all day, as you can see. Um, I might try to get some footage at the airport for you. Not sure how that'll go. We're at the airport, as you can see, and uh, waiting for our plane out of here. It was pretty easy to get through customs. They do check your passport like six or seven times before you actually get into the terminal. Um, Liv is miserable because she's sunburnt, but she's powering through like the true queen that she is. Uh, I gave her my little lemon mask so it's not as tight on her sunburn on her face, but it's been a good trip, short and sweet, and this will probably be the last time I check in with you, so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what kind of videos you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little internet family. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. laughing at me. I said don't film me, I'm not cute enough. <laughs>